So welcome to uh, Shanghai. And uh, the weather I just checked before I start, uh, it's about 60, 66, 68 now in Shanghai. And uh, in New York now it's 41. It will be a wonderful time uh, to visit our campus at this time. And of course, unfortunately, no, <laughs> I guess uh, everyone is stuck at home. Okay, so uh, I was very impressed with this uh, conference and just happy to take this opportunity to introduce this uh, new institute to all of you. And then if you have questions, uh, you can always you know, ask during the, my presentation, okay? So this is a, uh, the institute really uh, start uh, on January of 2018. And then I decided to accept the challenge to start a new institute. And so this is put into operation on September 2018. Uh, now it's almost, uh, you know, uh, almost two years. And so of course, uh, our doctrine, of course, uh, I'm sure all of you are very familiar. We emphasize, we promote uh, academic freedom, originality, and preservance. So our initial thought, our Haven Conference, we want to have, we hope to have regular conference. And we also hope to like uh, FSRI or, you know, have some program to, to run for people, other uh, people outside the university to apply. And I had to be straightforward. Right now, the conference not as you know as many as I would like to have, and also you know we don't really have start the this uh, uh, proposal yet. And then, but then on the other hand, the environment. Uh, uh, we right now we have a pretty good. Uh, environment. We have a nice building, nice office, as you can see from the from the screen, from our homepage. And we also have opportunity for our young faculty to visit top institute. And these are funded by the uh, program of university. We, we already start the undergraduate program uh, last year, and uh, our first group of undergrads of 10, uh, that's our first uh, undergraduate class, we model the two systems. One is the uh, University of Science and Technology of China, where I graduate. Uh, the other is the Oxford tutorial system. So each student actually are assigned one advisor every academic year, and then they meet once a week. Okay, of course, we are still in the process of learning. And then we plan to start master degree in 2022 and professional in 2000, also in 2022. And then we aim to start uh, 2023. For those of you who are not in China, and then I need to explain the, uh, the right to issue bachelor degree, master degree, and doctorate, we actually have to apply to our, you know, education minister in central government. They need to demonstrate evidence that we can raise uh, a good PhD program. Uh, so that's why we need time to establish it. Uh, so we, of course, are actively hi uh, uh, hiring. Uh, so we have, uh, uh, short term, you know, a, a temporary position like three year uh, postal position, and uh, they have essentially one one teaching load. And uh, in practice, probably is a little bit less than, you know, like 1.5 teaching load per year. So this is a pretty light teaching load. Okay. But then since the uh, postal usually need to find job after three years, so we really want everyone to have some teaching experience. 
is a is a new institute and uh, we don't have you know enough senior mentors so we come up with the idea of research in pair what means is that if we hire a postal and then the postal will suggest looking for a senior advisor mentor in the europe in us or japan uh, korea and then the institute would fund them one week fully paid by the institute every semester for this postal to go to his uh, senior mentors uh, institute and so we'll pay for airfare and hotel for a week and in the summer if the mentor is available and then we also pay for the mentor to visit the institute and then also we uh, activate inviting uh, uh, hosting short-term and long-term visitors okay. and we've been doing that quite regularly now so for the first five years we we've been hiring uh, roughly four to five uh, tenure track position each year and in the end of the fifth year we hope to have 20 to 25 tenure line professors okay. so what's our aim from my own experience as well as people around me and uh, i know there's a lot of extremely talented and ambitious young people they for some one reason or another they hold up in some top place without a tenure track position so we're really targeting to those people you know, if you or if you know someone who are ambitious who are hard working and want to do you know excel in mathematics and still not having a tenure track position yet and then you should i hope you or encourage people who you know uh, to apply us okay. so the teaching load for our uh, tenure track people is one one uh, officially uh, but then of course in reality we've been doing less than one one like a, you know 1.5 1.6 uh, the university give generous start fund uh, it's a 900 thousand uh, Chinese run. It's uh, like a, a, a like a 140 US, 140,000 US dollar uh, for three years. It's more than enough for you to visit, you know, place in the US, in Europe, and, and so on. So, the one thing we are very concerned is for the young people, we want you to stay connected with the uh, you know the main you know uh environment in the west okay. so right now at this point we have 13 tenure track uh, professors and we also have 10 research fellow you know, like a postal or research associate research assistant professor and we have an international hiring committee uh, who will help us to make the final recommendation on hiring decision, especially hiring on the tenure track position. So let me, so Michelle Feldman is a professor in Wisconsin. He is a top expert in PDE. Uh, Jason Starr is a professor in Stony Brook. He is uh, in algebra geometry. Uh, Paul is uh, chairman of University of Bass in UK, and he is uh, uh, expert in applied PD, uh, applied mathematics. Uh, Lunamir is University of Miami, and I think he no longer be Vienna now. Uh, University of Miami, and he is a uh, expert in algebra geometry, mirror symmetry. And Joe Fine is an uh, expert in uh, different geometry, and he is in Brussels now. So the so the way it works is that 
So the way it works is uh, in, in the institute, we have a, a screen committee, yeah, preliminary screen committee. And the, the preliminary committee come up with a short list for people to, for the scientific committee to consider. And then the scientific committee take a look at the list and then we, we, we discuss case by case and then we make the recommendation. Okay, so th these are the, you know, photo of the, of our members uh, at this point. As you can see that we are quite international. Uh, we have people from UK, you know, France, Germany, uh, US, Holland, uh, China, Japan, and so on with pretty international community. And uh, we are committed to remain so. Uh, of course, uh, uh, it really depends on where we get the application. You know, uh, one thing good about this university is that they model the system in two places. One is in California, the State University in California, and the other one is the uh, Quran uh, in New York. And as you see that in Quran, it's in Manhattan, it's impossible for a professor to buy a house. And now we are located in Pudong, Shanghai, and it's again uh, another uh, you know, place that's impossible for a professor to buy a house, no matter how high your salary is. Uh, so university has in-house faculty housing. Yeah, if you are a tenure line faculty, then you are eligible to choose one apartment inside the university to live. Usually, I think it's a, a hundred square meter to 120 square meter. And I don't know the precise uh, uh, size, but it's a quite good size. Yeah. And its current market value, is probably close to 1 million US dollars, maybe, maybe more. Okay, so this is a this is a place where we are now. Uh, so this is our uh, UA, This is our the bar. We have tea, serve tea, coffee, and cookie. Uh, this is a place we sit around and check. And of course, uh, we want lots of blackboard and uh, chalk so people can talking. And this is our mini library. Uh, sorry. This is our mini library, and uh, yeah, this is the same place. Yeah. So, yeah. So this is this is what I want to share. And uh, if you have a question for me, uh, please don't hesitate to ask. And you can, you know, I, I will tell you, you know, only say what I'm thinking uh, if you ask a question. And Otherwise, I hope when this thing is all over, I welcome all of you 